Many years ago, I used to be a forester, and in a forestry scenario, it's perfectly acceptable to fell a tree like this at maturity and realize the profits from the timber. But our boroculture isn't forestry. Our boroculturists are more concerned with managing the benefits that flow from these trees once they get to maturity at their full size and, and beyond. And what's interesting is that the at maturity is the time of peak benefit delivery and it's absolute madness to be felling these trees at that time and yet that's what we're seeing almost on a daily basis. So you know something seriously wrong when the people who are meant to be caring for these trees, so consultants like me, contractors who are advising tree owners and tree officers who are managing trees on behalf of the community are actually sanctioning the loss of these trees prematurely and unnecessarily. So let's go and see why it's worth trying to keep a tree like this standing rather than felling it. And here's one very good reason. This stump's been dead for years, but it's actually teeming with life. And we can tell that by these fungal brackets here, which are the external manifestations of decay going on inside the trunk, that's recycling all those nutrients from the wood back into the ecosystem. And if we look a bit more closely at the bark here, we can see where it's dead and lifting from the wood. It's providing shelter for small mammals and birds in the worst excesses of winter. And then finally, when we look at the wood, we can see the invertebrates eating into it. So the beetles and all the insects as well. And these actually provide a food source for birds in the winter as well. Now, a dead stump like this has got the potential to contribute to sustaining the ecosystem for decades, but actually if you can keep some live branches on it, sometimes they can go on for centuries. So you can see that trying to keep these stumps standing is really important for the health of the local ecosystem. And as we all know, a healthy ecosystem is the starting point for healthy people. And here's another. Every time someone comes to visit me, I always bring them to see this tree because it's so special. It's an ancient oak that we think is probably 500 years old, maybe 600 years old. And as you can see, it's right next to this busy crossroads, which in the past would have been a cart track. Before that, it was a bridleway. And before that, it would have been a footpath. During the centuries, this tree's witnessed literally thousands of people passing by almost on a daily basis. It's a living link with ancestors no longer here, but also a bridge to descendants still to come. But here's the rub. If you remember the tree that we saw that was felled earlier, if you fell trees like that, you don't get trees like this. You know, over the last 20 years or so, a boroculture's lost its way, but I think we can turn it around. If you want to find out what you can do to make a difference, then join me on December the 9th, but it's going to take a big effort from all of us to turn this around.